Since I switched from traditional professional automotive commercial photography to the CGI world in September 2021, my life and my perspective on images have completely changed. It was more out of desperation due to the circumstances at the time that I downloaded a trial version of 3D Studio Max and wanted to work with cars again. So I decided to give CGI a try. CGI stands for Computer Generated Imagery and refers to images that are entirely created on the computer. Suddenly I realized the possibilities that CGI offered which I could never achieve with traditional photography due to the high costs involved. With CGI I finally had the freedom I had always desired. I absorbed every piece of knowledge like a sponge and it became clear that this was what I had always wanted to do. It's crazy when I think that I used to always chase after the image in my mind, which I usually had before the actual photo shoot, and always tried to get as close as possible to that result. Sometimes, many people were involved in making this possible. And now I can simply create anything on the computer that I can imagine. This is totally surreal to me even after two years. Now, I mainly work in the CGI field for BMW and BMW M, as well as Audi creating photorealistic images. However, as time passed, I encountered more and more performance issues related to my PC. Since the Corona renderer is a CPU-based renderer, I quickly reached the limits of my computer's performance and needed a solution to establish a more efficient workflow. I conducted research for a new CPU and quickly realized that AMD is the best choice for me, especially when considering the price-performance ratio. I then upgraded to the AMD Ryzen 5950X, which allowed me to work relatively smoothly for the first time. However, as my projects grew larger and more complex, I found that the performance was insufficient. That's when I decided to purchase the AMD Threadripper 3990X with 64 cores and 128 PCIe lanes. I managed to overclock the CPU to a stable 4.2 GHz with all 64 cores, which is quite remarkable. Furthermore, I kept coming across the Threadripper Pro series, which appears to be the most promising option for me in the future, as it offers improved efficiency in terms of core to wattage ratio compared to my current 780 watt setup with a 4.2 gigahertz Threadripper. If you were to ask me about the most noticeable difference between the AMD Ryzen 5950X and the Threadripper 3990X, it's the latter's ability to handle 7 CAD cars with 140 million polygons without crashing the program. It offers a smoother experience. Additionally, since the Corona renderer only utilizes the interactive renderer on a single system rather than over a network, Having a powerful main system CPU is crucial. Any new generation Threadripper will significantly enhance my workflow by at least 50%. Even if you need to render hundreds of images, for example, for a video created entirely in CGI, as I did for BMW M's global release of the M3 Touring, you'll appreciate the capabilities of such a CPU for your processes. The best part is that you'll realize this quickly, just as I did back then. If you have any questions about CGI, Threadripper or anything else, um, feel free to ask in the comments and I'll do my best to provide answers. In the meantime, stay healthy and I see you in the next video.